Like other parts of North Central Florida, dogfighting is active in Columbia County, and the illegal practice may have nearly claimed an essential best friend to a little boy with Asperger's syndrome. TV 20's Chris Gilmore reports two teens are now in trouble as a result of the dog napping. That's right, Dave, and his parents tell me that because of his Asperger's condition, the potential loss of his beloved pet would have been devastating. Meet Samuel Cleary, a four-year-old Columbia County boy living with Asperger's syndrome, a high-functioning form of autism. Now meet Samuel's best friend, a three-month-old pit bull Labrador mix named Calypso. Samuel's parents say Calypso is a perfect match for him. Dogs like Calypso here mean more to Samuel than most. They act as a comfort and therapy for his Asperger's condition. He lights up. That's the, the easiest thing. The way I can explain it is he lights up. When he gets home from school, he sees Calypso, he just lights up. We have another dog, Darla, which he loves and adores too, but this is his baby. Lake City Police responded to Samuel's great-grandmother's house last Tuesday after a tip of suspicious activity from a neighbor. He said they were walking through a yard of a neighbor uh, he observed one of the teenagers go up and start knocking on the door and saw the other teenager uh, actually kind of sneaking into the backyard. Um, he saw them then get something, the one that was in the backyard retrieve something. Police say two teens left Samuel's great-grandmother's house with Calypso before hiding him in the nearby woods. Lake City Police caught up with the teens within the hour and say they confessed to the crime and showed investigators where they left the dog. Clarity isn't sure why the teen stole the dog, but say she's familiar with similar cases in the area. People fight them. I don't know why. Raise them up to Raise fight them. Raise them up to fight them. I, don't, I have, other than that, I don't know. A fate that Clarity says she doesn't want for her dog. At the end of the day, she and Samuel are just happy to have him back. I got a little emotional because we know the trauma that it caused him before, and we just didn't want that to happen again. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want that for anybody. This is the second time the Clarities have had a dog stolen from them. Now that Calypso is back home, they plan on having him microchipped. The two juveniles in the case were arrested on charges of grand theft. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.